How to tell if your shingles on your roof are nearing the end of their life? Well, look no further than right over here. If you see this roof does not look right, if you see, I mean, it, it's pretty obvious. It looks like it's got some issues. So let's look at it, let's learn from this. Some tips to look for to telling if your roof is maybe at the end of its life. All right, so first off, the asphalt is covered with granules, not just to give it color, but it serves a very important purpose of protecting the asphalt. The sun beating down on this gets to the asphalt. It's going to degrade the asphalt and wear it out a whole lot quicker. Just like your asphalt roads out here, they need uh, they, they change color from that dark, you know, night black color to fading over time, then start cracking and freeze thaw cycles, water getting in it, busting it up. Well, the sun's actually a big contributor to that, actually breaking down the asphalt. It's the same as the asphalt in your shingles up here. The granules are here to protect the asphalt. The asphalt is to protect your roof. It's not waterproof, but sheds water. The asphalt is what keeps the water from penetrating through. When you've got this shiny look here, what you're actually seeing is the lack of granule, the lack of asphalt, and you're seeing the fiberglass mat. That is what holds everything together. That is not waterproof. It's just very porous and water will just drip right through. If you don't believe me, check this out right here. Let's pull this up. I mean, it's paper thin. Look at that. You can see the dirty water trail running down here, 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 everywhere basically. When you got a keyway, it comes up right here. That right there is an easy invitation for water to come in. Something else we can look at this and verify, hey, yeah, the sun is wreaking havoc on the asphalt right here the fiberglass mat well everything's breaking down but it has prevented the sun from mostly getting to this side right here well look at the asphalt in the uh, headlap the granule random leftover colors they put into the headlap here colors aren't specific they're not important because you don't see this part point being that is basically a shade to this the sun hasn't gotten to this but it has absolutely destroyed this tab this whole front section the whole roof is you know sun's wreaking havoc on it but as I said, let's try to get you a close up. There you go. You can see a little bit of the granule, a little bit of the old dull gray was asphalt and then the mat. This is bad. Some other things to look for. If you, I mean, this is one of the worst ones I've seen in a minute, but here in my area, let's look at the gutters. Typically, depending on where you live, I recommend cleaning your gutters twice a year. So we have a lot of maple trees around here. When the helicopters come down in the spring, you want to clean those out. And if you observe granules in your gutters, that's an indication that granules are coming off your roof and they're gathering in your gutter. Also in the fall, after the leaves come down, clean your gutters then too. But we can learn from that. Look right here. Okay, so the obvious... I can't see. There's so much sun. Can you see that? Let me try to get sun on here. There we go. I can barely see my screen. That's all roof granule. It's all wearing off of the roof and running down the rain and gathering right here. That's a dead giveaway that these are not where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be up here. You shouldn't see fiberglass this bad. So uh, this is an issue in its own. Look at the gutter. Dipping really low right here. It's been going on for a while. It's because the excess weight is just tugging on this. It's only held in by spikes. By the way, check out the gutter guard, prote gutter protector here. Ladder standoff linked it down below. I'm not a fan of spikes. Threaded hangers are better. For one, you don't see the face, but they have threads that pull into the fascia board. Well, let's look at the fascia board. Water's dumping in back here. Look what we got going on here. A larger repair bill happening now because it's starting to rot out. Why is it rotting out? Water's getting in behind it. Hell, part of it is actually just completely missing the gutter and running right down the back right here. Let's look back here. Also, there's no apron. Nothing covering that. Whatever, that's a whole nother story. Another video. This needs cleaned out. Take the wood out of it, pull it up, pull it in. And this roof is just shot. So some things, like I said, the granules gathering in your gutter, the look of the roof. Before your roof looks this bad, you're going to see granules gathering in your, your gutter. I mean, that's... That's damn near full. It's, it's everywhere. It's the entire roof. So why I'm here, I got called out because there was a home inspection on the property or roof or something, I don't know, but it turned up on the roof, there was a soil vent pipe where the seal is cracked and wore out. Blows me away that they missed the overall condition of the roof is shot. So the point of the video, you're a homeowner if you're a tenant doesn't matter if you're living under a roof and you see the roof is looking weird check it out because this thing is going to start leaking all over the place if it doesn't get addressed pretty soon 
Let's go look at the backside and why I got called here. This side's got less wear, but still has wear. So this is why I got called out here. This little guy right here. That is a problem, yes. But it's not as big a problem as the rest of the entire roof that's eventually going to start developing issues. Why? Because most of the water running off the roof hits this and goes around. Typically, the only thing running in this is what hits the pipe and runs down. You can switch pipe out, the pipe boot, and replace it. You can put a cover over it. You can caulk it, whatever. The bigger issue, the roof is shot. If your roof looks like this, you really need to start getting some uh, estimates and getting some contractors out to look at your roof and get it replaced. I mean, you got missing tabs. You got keyways here that are going to be letting water in. The only thing protecting this from leaking now is whatever paper they have under all this. You can see right here in the keyway where the sun is getting on in between this little slit. See how it's protected? See how it's wore out? It's because the sun wreaks havoc on it. Every one of these little areas is now allowing water to trickle through. It wasn't scripted. Let's just pull this up. I bet you'll see little water trails coming up under these too. You can see them right there. That's not good. <sighs> it's really bad the lower you go because now you have more rain runoff gathering up here running its way down. Leaking through. Let's just find a random one a little bit lower down here. How's about this tab right here? It looks pretty good. This one's got pretty significant loss. You can see it's unscripted. I, you know, just man, this is paper thin. It's gonna tear way worse. But anyway, you get the idea. This roof is shot. You can see my finger through that. Yeah. I need to get going. I actually uh, took my headset off so I could do this for you guys. I'm missing my morning coffee and crypto show. I just wanted to give you some tips to look for if you think your roof might be aging and outdated and developing some issues. Look no further than your gutter and the granules on the roof. To recap, the granules are on the shingle to protect the asphalt from the sun and the elements. And to give it a color, so you like, have curb appeal, keep up with the Joneses. As far as the asphalt, that's doped into the mat. The mat is nothing more than to hold everything together. The mat is not a waterproofing or water shedding material. It's just seeping through. It's like a sponge. It's just soaking up the water, and then it's getting in and getting in areas that could do more damage. So, it looks like that. Get some estimates coming. Get it replaced. If you're in my area, give me a shout. If not, there's plenty of other reputable companies out there. Hope the video helps you. Hope you learned something from it. If you could, give it one of these. If you like that, link in the description. It does help support the channel just a little bit. Until next time, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.